So as I'm about to use Claude this morning, I realized that there's a new version called Claude 2.5 Sun is new, which isn't the most creative way to name a new model. But I guess in a way it's better than the O and Mini and all the stuff that OpenAI is doing. But investigating this further, let me down this rabbit hole. So apparently Claude 2.5 Sonnet was launched yesterday, or the new version, I guess. And this is the official name that Entropic has given the model. Our updated version of Claude 3.5 Sun is now state-of-the-art for real-world software engineering, agentic capabilities, and computer use in public beta. This computer use is something that's very, very interesting, and I'll touch on this in a second. So if we look at this right here, this new 3.5 Sonnet model and the addition of a new 3.5 IQ is something that they just released. The thing is that they say that this model matches the performance of Claude 3 Opus, which a few months ago, or a few weeks, I don't know, it's, it's, it's funny how things, how fast things are moving. This was something that, or this was the model that everyone was using because it was the top of the line. So now with the new Claude 3.5 Sonnet, you're getting better everything almost than other models, apart from this math problem solving. So over here, Gemini 1.5 is still apparently better, but everything else is better done with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the new version. So there's that. Then there is this computer use. And in a nutshell, they describe this as developers can direct Claude to use computers the way people do by looking at a screen, moving a cursor, clicking buttons, and typing text. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the first Frontier AI model to offer computer use in public beta. At this stage, it's still experimental, at times cumbersome, and error prone. We're releasing computer use early for feedback from developers and expect the capability to improve rapidly over time. So, this at the moment is still in beta and it's only available through the API. So, you will need to know some coding or use a no-code platform like Make.com or Zapier in order to use this. But essentially, you provide code, and this is how it works. So you provide Claude with computer tools, computer use tools and user prompts, and then Claude decides to use the tool. So if the prompt makes sense, I guess. So if the prompt is about saving a picture of a cat to my desktop, Claude loads the store computer use tool definition that says if any tools can help with the user's query. So then if a user searches for help me save a picture of a cat to my desktop, Claude realizes that it has the tools available and then it constructs a properly formatted tool use request. And using the API, it will return the specific results. So then Claude continues calling computer use tools until it's completed the task. So we're still at a very early stage with this, but it's also super interesting to see where Claude and then Tropic is going. And yeah, those are the two big updates that happened yesterday when it comes to Claude and Anthropic. So definitely something to consider. If you're using Claude, make sure you use the latest version, 0.5 Sonnet New. And also look out for this computer use model. And if you are using the API version, it's also something that you can try as well. So that's it in terms of this video. Just a quick one to speak about these new updates. It's a very interesting time when things are progressing as fast as they are. So staying on top of things is, I think, very important. If you want to not miss any future videos, don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. And in the meantime, if you want to make use of AI in your business using AI and automation to scale further, to do more, to waste less time on repetitive tasks, check out the link in the description where I'm offering a free consultation to help you understand how you can use these new technologies in your business to move it forward. So if that's something that you feel might be valuable, check out that link in the description. In the meantime, I'll speak to you soon.